This is a quick demo of a new feature in the Nimbus iOS framework. It's called Chameleon. Chameleon is part of an upcoming change to Nimbus that will allow you to style and theme your applications using CSS style sheets. Chameleon is a small service that you run on your computer that detects changes in your CSS files and immediately applies them to the running application on your iOS device. This can be the simulator or even the hardware. The best way to understand Chameleon is to see it in action. We're going to spend the next couple of minutes building a really simple application that re-implements the functionality of that view that you sometimes see when you get an error and when a network request fails or even on the Twitter app when it's locating you on the map, for example. That view is basically just, you know, it's, it's got the rounded corners, it's a small square, black semi-transparent view. And we're going to recreate that right now. So let's say we wanted to start off by making this label that I've already positioned here. And we want to get rid of that background. So, okay, so we take, we, we take the test label object and then we set the background color to, uh, let's say, black. Then we, we build the app, we'll wait for it to build, then it runs and installs on the simulator. And if we were running a larger app, you, uh, well, shit. So we can see here that the label has completely been hidden. The the text is gone now. Uh, so we want to make sure that we can actually see that. So okay, now we have to change the code again. Let's just make it red so we can make sure we see it. And then we build, run, install, wait for the app to start again. And okay, so we got the actual text there again. As you can see, this process is kind of slow, and this whole process of building, reinstalling the app, and then navigating to where we were before is just painfully slow. So what Chameleon does is basically gets rid of that entire flow, and I'm going to show that to you right now. So I'm not even going to bother uh, changing this code right now because I've already set up all of the necessary Chameleon information and components that are needed to get this demo working. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the CSS. This root.css file is the CSS file that's bound to the root view controller that we have right here. And when I set up the view controller, you can see here I bounded a couple, or I binded a, a few CSS classes and added a few things to the DOM. So to begin, we have a, a dot background class, and this is the background of the overall view controller. And then we also have a dot notice box, which is the class of this smaller rectangle, uh, smaller view within the background view. And then we also have the UI label, which is this text that you see here. So to begin uh, and instantly see kind of the power of Chameleon here, let's go ahead and make the dark black background something a little more interesting. Let's make it dark gray, maybe light gray. Okay, I like that. You'll notice there that all I did was type like gray, hit save, and it immediately updated. I'll tell you when I'm hitting save right now, just so you can see the effect of that. I'm going to hit save right now. Save right now. It's really only bounded by the speed at which the changes are detected on the file system. So let's start building this component. And uh, now that we can do this really quickly without ever even reinstalling the app, let's just jump right into modifying the CSS. So to begin, let's make the bounding the notice box actually visible. Let's give it a background color here of, I don't know, black to start off with. Okay, cool. So we can see that we have the, the background here finally visible. Uh, let's give it a rounded border. So we'll uh, set a border radius of 10 pixels. I think that's pretty legit. Okay, now you can see we have the, the rounded corners, but I don't like that it's black. Let's make it transparent and not fully black. And so we just save that, okay. So now it's, it's semi-transparent. We can see that it's semi-transparent by changing the values here. We can see that it actually is see-through. Uh, but now we have a problem with the UI label. It's, it's not an actually a clear background. So let's go ahead and make that a clear background. Uh, background color clear, done, okay. Now you're probably wondering, you know, there, there aren't really any CSS properties for modifying the number of lines the UI label is allowed to have. So what Nimbus has provided with its CSS support is a dash iOS vendor prefix that allows you to actually modify a lot of uh, system level properties of standard views. So in this particular case, we're going to modify the iOS dash number of lines property, and we're going to make it, uh, we're going to make it like uh, one to start off. Okay, so that didn't do anything because it's already one. Let's make it two. Okay, so we can see more text being added here. That's pretty cool. Now let's make it so that the text is not god awfully uh, colored there. We'll make it white. Okay, cool. A little more legible. 
Uh, let's take it a next step though. Let's add a shadow. Uh, we'll make a semi-transparent uh, shadow that gives it the impression of being embedded within the background. Okay, that was easy. So now let's put in some finishing touches here. We want to make, uh, let's say we want to make the text centered. Okay, text align, center, done. And let's make all of the text visible. There we go. As you can see, uh, all I really did was just modify a bunch of CSS. And as I was modifying the CSS and hitting save, all the changes were being reflected on the, uh, on the simulator in real time. This also works on the hardware. So any changes in maybe colors, uh, like differences between the monitor you might be using versus the actual physical hardware of the device you're testing on, you can test that in real time now. So as you can see, Chameleon updates everything in real time, and we can really just have fun and play with this. There's no recompiling involved, and it, it totally changes the way that you go about designing your applications. So this is a quick demo of Chameleon for the Nimbus framework. Uh, expect to see it coming out in the next few days, maybe weeks, depending on how long it takes me to document all these various features. But if you have any questions, absolutely feel free to shoot me an email or post comments on, uh, on my blog. Thanks for watching the video.